Here we are fishing friends and welcome along to the channel Bassman's Bounty Fishing. Please join me and Cheeky Girl in Ferti Ventura for the definitive shore fishing guide to Coletta de Fusta and Salinas Rocks. Plus a bit of a snapshot of our holiday and personal lives. I do hope you enjoy. Please, please do not skip. There's loads of information on here regarding flights, accommodation, everything you need to know. So sit back and enjoy the show. Thanks very much, guys. Here we are. So it begins. So we're off on a fishing trip today. It's quite a long way. Stick with it. Guess who's here? Hi! <laughs> yes! The cheeky. The bass. Excited? Little bit. Well, let's get on. Sat in their front row, all their men's jackets, all bags, and inside them, plastic bags. Yeehaw! Hold on tight. So here we are, just left the airport. My nice taxi driver. What's your name? Christian. Christian. Yeah, so here we are guys, we're just on our final approach. There's the famous Chinatown uh, supermarkets there, look. And it's only what, 10 minute taxi drive. It's not gonna cost you too much, guys and girls. <clears throat> Now we were due to, we were thinking about staying in a two-star bungalow uh, place, bed and breakfast, and I think it worked out to about, what was it? About 300 pound for two of us for four nights. And then, you know, you get a bit carried away and we ended up in a five-star all-inclusive, four-star inclusive or whatever. And we stayed there before a couple of years ago, really nice hotel and it was an extra 150 pounds, so 450 each. So, you know, if you want to splash out for a bit bit more sort of luxury, then it's it's not a lot more really. And of course you get your beer included in that. Whereas in the two star self catering, you have to go and buy all that stuff and it's not cheap. So yeah, not far now, guys. Here we are, Coletta de Fusta. Just coming into the, uh, the top roundabout. We've been here, I think this is our third or fourth trip, I can't remember. And it's really chilled out over here. And our hotel is just up the road. Nice. We have arrived. There we are, there's our hotel there. Eurostars Las Salinas. And you've got a lovely beach, a nice bay. Very accessible. And thank you very much, Christian, for driving. <laughs> Here we are, nice. There's our room. It's not the best place we've ever stayed in, but uh, yeah, we stayed there a few years ago and I remember a nice big bonito in that sink. I brought back and used for bait. Bathroom. Ooh. Yeah, so here we are. Cheeky Girl's gone out for a beer run. See if we can get some beers, because by the time we get back, the uh, the beer tap will be stopped. So yes, 
I have been, as a lot of regulars to 30 Ventura, they bring their own bait, so big boxes with mackerel and stuff. Um, I thought I'd try something different. Because everything gets murdered down there really quick, so guess what I'm going to be using? Yes, Mr. Cuttle. So I've got, look, no, these are still low, frozen solid. All the way from the UK, nine hours traveling. Frozen cuttle. And I managed to sneak in a mackerel, yes. So yeah, I'm gonna, um, I've got some sand eels because I've got loads in my freezer. So they're really oily, so they're gonna go on, they're gonna go on strapped onto a cuttle, yes. Here we are fishing friends and welcome along. Information, tips, that's what this video is all about. Hopefully, you know, you get all the info and the knowledge. So yes, Eurostar's Las Salinas, as in Salinas Rocks, it gives you a clue there. There's right. another star there, one moment. <laughs> it's a four star. It's a four star, not a three star, darling. Anyway, so, since we've come this time, they've got these e-scooters, electric scooters. Come with me, my dear. And they've got different stations all around the area. And you get an app on your phone. What's it called? Link. Link. So you get this app. And how you get the app well, is you scan the QR code. All you have to do is really easy. You scan the QR code on your phone. It takes you to their website. You connect. You have to put a payment method in, so you need a card. So you put your card details in, and that's it, you're ready to go. We're gonna go for the green one, of course. Yeah, so here's the, here's the scooters, look. Pretty cool, have a look around, look. Super pedestrian. And I think they're self-charging, because if you see here, you've got this green on the light, which means it's fully charged. They must like recharge as you're going along, because, you know, technology and all that. So you scan your QR code, which is there, and you've got two brakes, front and rear, and your power's here, so that's obviously faster. Um, but you do have to kick start them, and I do mean you have to sort of go along and then press the power, or they don't work, because we found out that we didn't think they'd work. So anyway, look, coming on this. So all you do, obviously, we've, we've already got the app and we've done all the payment bit. So we go on there, and it shows you there's different stations that are there. And then all I have to do is, see on here where it says scan? Hmm, maybe. Yeah, just yeah. about. Mm -hmm. So I'll go on to there, press the scan. There you go, it's already done it and it's giving me, it's telling me to ride safely and go, kick, kick start and go, yeah? And that is it, my friends. Now it's on blue here or white. So that means it's all ready to go. And that's it. And I'll tell you what, it's 25 pence a minute. So cheap as chips, yeah? And you can get up right around the corner in less than five minutes, right up the other end, and you can go that way. So it's really cheap and good fun, and it's quite safe. There's cycle paths all the way around, you know, five mile an hour limit, five mile an hour. So yes, I shall, uh, I shall nip up to the supermarket, darling, and, and back in five minutes. Okay. Here we go. Beep, beep. Okay, it's a bit more than five mile an hour. <laughs> okay, so when you get back from your ride, wherever it is, you can leave your bikes anywhere along the, along the route. You just go to finish on here. And then you press finish. Okay, it says finish there. And then you have to scan, get a picture of the bike, so you can go back to get it in the view to prove that you've put it back. There you go, click. And that's it. It's just uh, finishing off there, look, and it tells you, so how much have we spent there? One pound something, a pound? Something like that. Yeah, and I've been, you know, I've been right around the corner, and come back and done a bit of filming on this. So yeah, it's really cheap and it's really easy. 
easy to get around. The supermarkets, uh, the Atlantic goes up that way. And then you've got supermarkets that way. You've got supermarkets that way. Yes, so there you go. Get a scooter, man. Here we are, fishing friends. We are out. We've had a cheeky pint, one and a half pints, cheeky glass of wine, and we are rolling. So the hotel's like, what, five minutes that way, and the end of the complex is probably another five minutes this way, so let's go, and uh, and it's a good 20 minutes walk from like, when you get to the end of the hotels. So just be aware of that, you've gotta be quite sort of nimble, yeah, and travel quite light. Um, the flights, we paid this time of year you're looking at 200 pound each you know both ways so it's really cheap but later in the year you're looking at you can double that on the flight so uh yeah let's go here we are another 10 minutes onwards it's a long way guys and it ain't looking too good up there pretty shallow here but it ain't looking too good so we might we might get up there and come straight back and have an early night. But hey, we just arrived and you know, what the hell, nothing ventured and all that. Yeah, it's a long way, guys. So it's through the sort of wastelands. There's a path all the way along. And yeah, no holds barred fishing. It's not that long, really. It's not. Here we are, just arrived. <clears throat> it's pretty rough and the tide's high. Somebody fishing there. Right. Yeah, so here we are guys. Yeah, so just arrived and the cheeky's filming. It's very, very windy. So I've taken out the volume just to do a little voiceover here for you. Uh, basic stuff really, 100 pound pulley rigs, uh, big baits, just like conga fishing. Big fixable reel, I've got 40 pound mono straight through, no leader. I'm not a big fan of 60 pound braid. I just feel it's a little bit too tight, you know, to use. So yes, we had one shot at this guys. We turned up, it was rough. The tide was high, it was coming over the top of the reef. Uh, cheeky girl looked concerned immediately because we couldn't get anywhere near it. Anyway, we, I said, come on, let's give it a go. One rod, just one rod. So I baited up and, you know, did my best. And unfortunately, because, because the waves were coming over the top of the reef, it meant that I couldn't position my stand near to the edge of the reef. So I was about 10 metres back in, in a sort of safer area. I will say safer. It wasn't safe that night. And I tried, you know, I kept everything back well out of the way. I was aware of my own safety. Um, there's, you, you're very unlikely to get washed in off this, off the top of this reef because it's a very sort of, it's shallow right over the top. So anyway, I'd say, you know, I've, I fired out a bait and you can see, you can see my boots that I'm wearing there. And if it wasn't for those guys, I wouldn't have been able to get anywhere near the edge of that reef. Snowby Rock Hopper boots, a really good investment. They're studded. You need studs. If you haven't got studs, you risk slipping, you know, twisting an ankle or maybe even worse. Yes, so I knew the writing was on the wall and we had like literally probably an hour, you know, one bait and that was it. Because, you know, safety first all the time in fishing, you know, you've got to be aware of what's going on around you. I knew things weren't going very well. Um, you know, Cheeky did her best. She was hanging on in there. It was really windy. And, you know, we really wanted to show you a good time out on the rocks there on the first night. And it was just, it was just never going to happen in an hour. You cannot expect to catch a big fish in an hour it just doesn't happen so we decided to call it a night on the grounds of safety you know go back to the room have a beer Hello, so this is the walk round to the harbour there's various restaurants and bars there. Uh, really nice place to visit. Check it out. Loads of fish there around the marina. Just awesome. Here we are. 
We're not at Salinas, we're up the other way to the, to the left, round from the harbour. So we're going after um, hopefully some bait fish, some bogue or whatever they're called, maybe a mullet. And I've got a heavy float there with a wire trace. Yes. So yeah, we're heading up onto um, a headland that's a lot safer than Salinas at the moment. The wind's offshore now, it's, it's actually swung around today. And come with me, babe, babe. When you come to Fuerteventura, Ventura, you need to catch your own bait if you want to catch like the top water species, like your barracuda, your bonito, your bluefish. So you need to catch these little bait fish, like little bogue or, or little mullet. And then you put, need to put them under a heavy float like that. And if you haven't got wire trace or about a hundred pound fluoro, these fish have got teeth. All of them have got teeth and they will bust you off like that, like cotton. So yeah, we'll give it a go, but this is what you need to do if you want to go for the bigger fish. And obviously if you get one of these, these bogues, you can put it down for a stingray or whatever, use it as a dead bait. So yeah, over there, that's where I had a blue fish in Benito like three years ago when I didn't know what I was doing. Yes. A bit more of a swing. What was that? Monica's car. Is it in the water? No, it's not. <laughs> Wind it up and do it again. <laughs> we'll make a fisherwoman of you yet. Right. More swing. What's that? That's not a swing. <laughs> what swings did you go on as a kid? Come on. Here we are. So, <laughs> check you out with your parrotfish. And that's your first fish, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> ever. You've been with me, what, 15 years or something? You never ever, <laughs> never ever had a fish. There you go. So that's on the sabiki feathers, with the feathers cut off, with just a little bit of prawn or bread. And look at that little beauty, look, hang on. Yes, there you go. Stunning fish, that. Absolutely stunning. Well done. There she is. Biting already. Biting already. Oh yeah, look. On the super floppy stick. Yeah. Whoa -ho -ho. That's a bad one. Oh my God. Bring it in, bring it in. Look at that. That's like a little grouper or something. <laughs> Done you, didn't he? That's the, that's the prawn head we put on, look guys. <laughs> that's all you get back is the shell. Where's the fish? <laughs> Where's the fish? What a little beauty. Oh my God, look what I caught. Yeah. Amazing, look at that. That's a beautiful fish. Not as pretty as you, my dear. Aww. Look at that. That's beauty, isn't it? Yes. Well done. Ah, thank you. Oh, look at you. Mm -hmm. Nice little, nice little hedgehog. And this is the average size. We was talking about this last night in the car, going to fishing, because they get run over a lot. Oh, Aren't you sweet? Cute one. He looks amazing. Oh, what is this? Right, we are going to do this <laughs> until we get it right. It's a scooter, yes? <laughs> Come on, this isn't going to fly for Right, <laughs> kick off. Hit the power. Come on, you can do it. Power, power, more power. Press the button, press the button. It needs more. Go on, go on. Go on, go on. Come on. You can do this, you can do this. It's a scooter. Yes, yes, yes. 
keep going. I'll take the stabilizers off. Yes. Right. At last, look. <laughs> what do you think of that? Uh, come on, man, now. No. <laughs> Is that it? Oh, yeah. oh. Now it's your turn. It's just a scooter. Yeah. It's just a bloody scooter. Uh, yeah, and lovely. Then you go. Yeah, fantastic. Are Show me right? how it's done. Hey. Hey, mate. It's all right. We'll go around the circle in a minute. That's all right. Hi, mate. Hi, hey, mate. hi. Here we are, fishing friends. Part two. Yeah, we stuffed up last night because it was like mega rough up on Salinas. So Paul's, Paul's kindly offered to guide me tonight. Paul Harris, he's done it before. Here he is. Hello, mummy. He's, he's the kitty. Yeah, I'll get that, mate. Here you are. got bad knees. <laughs> he's had two knee replacements, man. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, we're going out for it tonight. We'll be out all night and I'll see you, sexy, in the morning. Right. Have a good time. Bye. So here we are, look, we're just off and it's like, um, it's like a lunar landscape or is it Mars? Life on Mars? So yeah, we got a bit of a journey. How long are we going, Paul? About 40 minutes. 40, 40 yeah. minute drive. We're, we're heading down south, away from the bait robbing little smooth hounds. Yes. And look at that. Looks a bit like Ayers Rock. So here we are. We're just down at a, uh, a beach down south. A beach that has no name and shall remain nameless. <laughs> nice. So I have been here before, guys, and um, I did get bitten off by a, a rather large shark, we thought it was. So yes, that's more like it. Look, flat calm. So Paul, Dale and myself arrived on the beach just as it was getting dusk. I was super excited. It was really flat calm. Windy, but flat calm. Absolutely perfect. The rigs, I took over you know, a wide selection of rigs, big fish rigs, conger rigs, 100 pound pulley rigs, and bait rigs were small bream rigs, you know, anything with a size 1.0 semicircle hook. But I only went through actually four pulley rigs on the two nights. So you don't need to take a lot of gear. You don't lose much gear either over there. So it's really good. This was my first mackerel bait going out. I was really pleased with that. And look, the sun's just going down. I was super excited at this point, but you know, very nervous. Yes, the bait. Prawn, anything, anything will do. Any fish, prawn, shell on. I, I even tried sand eel over there. Anything works in Fertiventura. It doesn't matter. You can stick anything out. And of course, if you get live bait, that's even better. This is the problem. Stripped. So I decided to put on some cuttlefish with the mackerel, see if that made any difference, and it did. Whoa. So this was my first fish really in Fertiventura, a modest size striped bream, but I was buzzing, you know, anything on the beach, anything, I didn't care, I just wanted to catch anything. So there she is, my little bream, so I thought I'd give it a little show to the camera and uh, unhook the little darling, little Isima hook, same as a gilt head rig back in the UK, and uh, yes, what a cutie, eh? There you go, there's my first fish for the night. What is that, a little bream? Is that a white bream? Stripe bream. Stripe bream. <laughs> yes. As you can see, the bait robbers were out in force. Everything was getting stripped clean in minutes. Nightmare. So I decided to utilise a small bream, put it on as bait with a sand eel jammed inside. Very oily, lovely. Even sardine and cuttle seemed to last a bit longer. I was desperate. I was trying everything in my box, even the oils, anything for an advantage. <laughs> well, I don't know what to say, guys. 
I am just a passenger on this ride. <laughs> It's slowing. I was gaining on it. <laughs> That's the uh, the Black Rock all round a two pound test curve. Sixty five quid rod, bent double. Paul? Yeah. You got the rod, have you? Yeah. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh my god. Here we are, just about to be spooled by a big stinger or something. I've only got 15 pound Daiwa high sensor high percent, so I can't even speak. This is not how I imagined things to go in Ferti Ventura. <laughs> I imagine it to be on the other rod. You see, it was that extra half hour's fishing that did it. Oh my God. How many yards have I got on here? What, probably 300 yards on here? About that. Why isn't it busting me off? Must be lip hooked, isn't it? Yeah. Keep going, mate. We're getting to the end. We're oh getting God. to the end. This is the end, my friend. You've been spoiled. Right. I've cracked right up on the drag now. This is it. Shit or bust. I'm almost out of line. Oh, God. No! No! Oh, look, look at the rod! That's proper. Oh, he's going again. Oh no, this is it, guys! This is the end! It is the end. This is the end, look! I know! It's right up, this is it. Come on. I'm going for the last. <laughs> oh, still recording? Damn. Yeah. Oh, go on, mate. I'm down to the last one. And this, oh, no, he's going again. No. Oh, he's gone. Oh, he's done me. He's done me. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, you said you wanted a big fish. Oh, my God, mate. Get your light on. I, just, I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> Apart from wow. <laughs> yeah. The power of those big fish. What can I say? You know, like yeah. 15 pound line, man. You were never going to land that fish. You know, I know that's a lot of line that's just gone out, but hopefully it's parted at the end. So I'll get this in now and hopefully it's all good, yeah? But. Ow! Wow. Well, I got me run, didn't I? You got it. You got the feel of the power on it. Look, you're down to the last notch. Look, the last couple of things, and I'd locked the drag right up. Look, Shimano static locked, and all I could do is hang on and open the best. What size was that then, you reckon? You, know, you can't tell me. No. That Big. could be anything from 20, 60, 60 pounds, 70 pounds. 60 pounds. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I need a beer. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how much line I get back there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven, eight, nine, twenty. That's a hundred. Seventy. Eighty. Oh my god, I've got it all back. There you go, look. I got the lot back. I got it all back, guys, so nothing was left out there. That's cool, isn't it? Yeah, a packer. 15 pound line. 
on a big ray like that. Mental. Come on, mate. Here we are, look. Paul's very generously giving me this rod. Oh, now he's waking up. What is it? Show him move to the bus. Well, <laughs> I don't know about that. So I jump the drag a little bit? No, don't twist the drag. The drag's fine. Okay. This one's heading out the same way as the last one. You can put as much pressure as you like on that. Butterfly. Wow. Don't stop, Paul. You need to get you need to get down there, mate, with your light. Yep. Come on. Ah. Yes. Butterfly. butterfly That's a butterfly. Oh my god, can we get him a little bit closer? Can we get him a little bit more or not? Or just leave it there? Yeah, no, you can bring him up a bit more. Oh my god. Wow, look at that. Cool. Thanks, mate. <laughs> ah, pleasure. Right, get some decent lights on me. This is it, guys. Bertie Ventura. Oh my god. How big? Oh, 40. Might be 50, what do you reckon, Del? <laughs> yeah, at least 40. And I thought he'd come off, didn't I? Because he'd come in and like done me like on the slack line. That's a shot looking for. Nice, nice. Fish is better looking than you. I know that. <laughs> oh my God, look at that. So happy. And these, these, these rays are a continuous wing. So you just can't, you can't pick them up for a photo or anything, it's just impossible, yeah? Oh my God. Look <laughs> at the size of it, man! So we're estimating what, about 40, yeah. 50? Yeah, around that area. Mate, that's massive. That is massive. That's better. How's that? That's perfect, let's get up here a bit more. So here we are. Come out on this beach tonight with Paul and um, Dell. Forgot your name already. <laughs> Mate, I'm a mess. I've been spooled by something, and I wonder if this has got the hook in it when we turn it over, yeah? Yeah. I wonder if it's got my little 1 0 hook in it. What do you reckon? Anyway, back to the story. I've come over here. Third time lucky, guys. What can I say? Thanks very much. Well done. Thanks, Paul. Well done. Turn this baby over. Whoa, baits come out already, look. Oh, nice barbless hooks. Yeah, nice barbless hooks. Just check he hasn't got anything else in his mouth. Yeah. Now, no little one out hooks. No little one. <laughs> yeah, look at that for a shot. How's that? Whoa. Here we go. Come on in, mate. Get you back down. Give you a spark then. <laughs> Go on, mate, watch it go out. Get the, keep the light on it, Paul. Yeah, it. Oh my god. Woohoo! Here we are. Night three, the last night. We are on it, son. The house.
Harris, the Del Boy, the Bass. We are on it. Are we ready? Yeah, ready. Big, big, big stingers tonight. Big stingers tonight, guys. Oh. So yes, we had a night off last night. With you, my dear, nice romantic night here. So it was? So it was, yes. And this is the third and final night, so wish me luck. And I'll see you, sexy, in the morning. Good luck. Here we are. Here we join with us. So who's this stumpy guy that we're going to meet? Stumpy. He's a, it's a big stinger with a he's stumpy. A little stingy with a stumpy tail. <laughs> and he is uh, known to everybody. That's and stumpy. He's, he's about yeah. Probably a bit bigger. Yeah. That'll that. do. That'll do. As long as it's not on a two pound bait <laughs> rod, eh? Here we are. Just arrived. Beautiful little beach. And yeah, a bit of an update, guys. Um, yeah, so forget the advice about the 40 pound mono straight through with no leader. It's not good enough, okay? So I um, only really realized that the other night fishing with these guys. And it's gotta be, you know, 78 pound braid with a 100 pound leader on top. So it gives you something to hold on to, like when you've got these fish in the gutter in the surf, because they don't want to come in, yeah? So yes, I'll uh, hold my hands up there, guys, and say that wasn't the best advice. And Paul has kindly lent me some of his old reels. So here we go. There we are. 100 pound pulley rig, nice mackerel. 80 wide gates. Go on the bait rod. Whoa! <laughs> wow! So big baits over here, whole mackerel, whole sardine, and this is a stingray bite here. This had been going on for a few minutes, just tight and slack, tight and slack. Very shy bite. When I picked up the rod, it went zzzz. Right, guys. Here we are. Two hours in. The old Naga, the Viagra rod, <laughs> stiffer for longer. He's under you. It's big, whatever it is. Delay. Yes, mate! Nice one. Nice one. Nice one. 
not a bad one. Ooh, 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 ooh. You already am on it. It's not stumpy though. No. It's so stumpy. It's so stumpy. <laughs> oh my god. That lit me up, didn't it? Didn't it? You know what you're telling me life's like? Yeah. So I'm shaking like a... <laughs> the uh, proverbial dog. Don't you love it when a fan comes in here? You said it, you said it with balls. Today, a bit too much sun seeing salad, but yes, we've come out again, haven't we, guys? Done it again. Good job I had uh, some decent braid on, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Instead of that 40 pound mono rubbish, <laughs> <laughs> mate. You live and learn, don't you? Do you know what I mean? I'll take the advice, and here we are. Don't know what to say, mate. I'm absolutely buzzing, absolutely buzzing. Bertie Ventura 2023. The definitive shore fishing guide is now complete. All I need now is a monkfish. Right, what do you do now? <laughs> Not gonna hold that up, am I? Get a bigger one. Get a bigger one and get the back of it. That's a bail off. Yeah. Rod's behind the wall. Okay, move. Yeah, fine. What do you want me to do? Okay. So it was down to me to release this magnificent fish, but look at its stinger trying to get me left and right, left and right. Absolutely incredible. Unfortunately, she swallowed the hook right down. I could, I could hardly see it. So we thought it best just to cut the line off as close as we could to the fish and, you know, before releasing her. We did our very best and it was very windy. You getting this? You still rolling? Yeah. Right. like a dog yeah i don't what a beauty thank you very much darling get down inside with that right should we flip him back over yeah yeah this is the first time i'd ever handled a stingray over 60 pound and it was my job to get her on the right way and i think i did a good job considering so i was absolutely buzzing this thing was like half a foot deep it looked massive to me, even though it was just a medium-sized ray. Right. Come on, Johnny. That's it. Over the rock. Come on, look at that. Now get a light on it. There we go, guys. Look at that. And you go backwards. That's it. That's it. Wow. Go on then, darling. There you go. Yes! Oh wow. We didn't measure it. <laughs> mm, you've got 60 pounds. 60 pounds. Easy. Easy. Yeah. Oh, it's about a good length, isn't it? Yeah. Here we are, last roll of the dice. Last chance saloon. Double sardine. Yep, we got tension, boy. Yeah, I'm in. Not massive.
monk. Oh my god, you're joking. Yeah, monk. Yeah, of course it was. Oh my god. A monk? Yeah. yeah, monk. So here I was, a attached to this amazing creature, being towed along the beach to my left. It, these things don't really go that well compared to a stingray or the butterfly rays, but it certainly, it certainly took me up the beach quite a, quite a way before we could get to it and land it. I was really nervous, and these are such cool fish, a bit like our angler or monkfish in the UK, so I'd never caught one of those. So I put a whole cuttlefish head on there, about that big, and a sardine, and there's my angel shark. So there she was, my angel shark, the Grand Slam. I couldn't believe it, I'd caught the Grand Slam. All three fish on my list, absolutely amazing. Just be careful with these guys, their mouth is huge. Oh my God, look at the mouth on it. It's got a bigger mouth than me. I know we'll go that Not far. Not that far. Yourself, nah. <laughs> oh mate, what can I say, guys? Well done, well done. And it was on my rod. <laughs> <laughs> Nice what time is it? Half 12? Yeah. Half past 12 at night. Tide's coming up. Predator's coming out. There you go. Job done. That's that's it, man. That's the grand slam for me. So yeah, let's get around up to get a pick again. Yeah. Awesome. What's the, what's the, what's the, uh, got any tips? Yeah, keep your hand out of his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, got it, got it, got it. And by the way, guys, the, uh, the hooks have got to be barbless. That's right, isn't it? Yep, yep. Yeah, so we got some barbless. barbless circle hooks. Because these angel sharks are protected. Good. Sorry, I'm, abs I'm an absolute mess, guys. Sorry about that. Check this little darling out there. Yes, that's the Grand Slam. Thank you very much, guys. Get him on the back, look at that. All around. Let's go. Beautiful. And there we are, look. What an incredible experience. Great bunch of guys. We're all in this together. These, these angels are protected. You know, get them out for a quick snap, back in the water. She'll go off absolutely fine in a minute. Go on, darling. There she goes. Oh my God, what a trip. I'm absolutely buzzing. I think she's actually a bit disorientated with the lights. There she is, she's going now. Oh my God. Also just like to take this opportunity to thank Paul and Dell for their help and support, but mainly the cheeky girl. Yes, the cheeky. She basically paid for my holiday. Oh my God, love you babe, she's gone look, that's a wrap. Right, that's it guys, that's, that's probably the end of the journey for this trip, so I've had me three nights and that was absolutely brilliant. Please be inspired by my video, come over, give it a go, bring the right gear, do your own work, watch the video, subscribe, comment, question. Thank you very much, and I'll see you soon back in the UK. Yes! Here we are, 2 a.m. I'm not doing the walk of shame tonight, guys. Oh yeah. <laughs>